When you work with form inputs, it is essential that your model and the view are always in sync. Otherwise, the data might not be consistent. For example, consider a login form. This has a username and password. And the component class has the corresponding properties, username and password. Whenever a user updates these input controls, your model or properties should automatically receive those values. And when there is an update in the model or property value, your view should automatically reflect the updated values. Now we have learned about property binding and event binding and we are in a good position to write our own code for this. But Angular wants to help us out and provides us with a cool feature which is two-way binding. Two-way binding allows us to update a property and at the same time display the value of that property. And for two-way binding, Angular provides another directive, namely the ng model directive. Let's take a look at an example so that things are more clear. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code. And first, I'm going to create a new property in the class. This is going to be public, name, and initially an empty string. Now in the template, I'm going to add a new input element. Input type is equal to text. And then right next to the input element, I'm going to bind this property value using interpolation. So what we want here is that when I type something in the input box, I want the property to be updated with this value. And as soon as the property gets updated with that value, I want it to be shown here with interpolation. Basically our view and the model should always be in sync. That is what we are going for. So for that, like I mentioned, we need to use the ng model directive. So within the input element, add the directive ng model and then surround it first with parentheses and then with square brackets. Parentheses and square brackets. Now if this is hard to remember, think of a banana in a box. So we have a banana inside a box. At least that's what the Angular team suggests. All right, to this ng model directive, we need to assign the property, which is the name property. So within quotes, name. So this should seem familiar to you. We have the square brackets for property binding, which is data flow from the class to the template. And we have parentheses for event binding. So the data flow from the template to the class. There is two way data flow and hence two way binding. Now, if we save this and head over to the browser, you can see that there is a problem. In the console, you can see can't bind to ng model since it isn't a known property of input. So Angular is not aware of the ng model directive because it is in a separate module called the forms module. So let's add that module to our application. So open app.module.ts file and import the forms module and then add it to the imports array. So next to browser module, add a comma and then forms module. So now if we save this and head over to the browser, we can see that we have the input box and it is empty. And if I start typing something, for example, code evolution, you can see that the same text being written out right next to it. This is two way binding. From the input, the value flows to the class property and from the class property, the value flows back to the template. This will ensure our view and the property values are always consistent. Now we will make use of two-way binding when we learn about forms later on, but for now, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.